covid uh, due to this reason healthcare sector is also you know uh, handling the issue of capacity be it a hospital be it a pharmaceutical company or be it an equipment company they all are handling the issues we have seen uh, the, the 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 problem of capacity handling in case of hospital government hospitals and private hospitals also when at the time of peak of covid 19 all these are very practical situation and that need to be handled but because we are actually concerned more about the business organization so i would like to restrict my discussion on uh, you know business organization and that is why i would like to shift your focus on the examples which i have discussed with you in the form of video case uh, you can quickly recall the video case which i showed you in my class and in that video case recall the example of honda motors and you have seen in that video that honda car is moving from one work station to another work station that is one work station is where the assembling is going on other work station is where the painting is going on other work station is there is welding going on so there are different work station and the car is moving from one station to another station this work station the term work station is very important in capacity because a product which is either fully processed or semi processed is moving from one work station to one to one work one one work station to another work station and that process goes on till the end so wo ek product ek work station se dusre work station pe move karta rehta hai how many work station they has to pass through that all depend upon uh, the 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 process the procedure the product today i am going to give you an example two example one is the example of the product and very simple example of a again a company which is manufacturing sandwiches so i will give you the example of sandwiches and the different processes which are going on in the production of sandwiches this is the example of product in contrast to that i have to discuss with you an example of a dentist when you visit a dentist what are the different processes that are going on in the dentist what are the different work station that you have to pass through and from there we try to compare the problem of capacity with the help of one which is manufacturing manufacturing the sandwiches vis-a-vis -vis to the one which providing the services of dentist why we are taking these two example because we are handling if you remember the last part of the discussion that we had tomorrow that we had yesterday was about a important area and that is the theory of constraint that every system has certain constraints have certain limitations these constraints and limitations leads to or results into creation of bottleneck so there are two terms constraint and bottleneck bottleneck are always there in any system in any process to manage the capacity effectively what you need to do is you have to identify the bottleneck aapko agar apni capacity ko acche se aur effectively manage karna hai to aapko apne system ke bottleneck pehchanne hote what are those bottleneck technically speaking bottleneck are those areas which consumes maximum time and maximum energy and effort ye wo areas hote hain process ke jahan pe sabse zyada time effort aur money kharch hota hai invest hota hai expense hota hai this is technically is the bottleneck and your job as an operations manager is to identify those bottleneck and take out some remedy that how can we reduce and how can we solve the problem of bottleneck agar aap aisa kar pate hain to aap apni capacity ko effectively manage kar sakte hain so i would like to uh, move on to my powerpoint slide to make you understand the things much better is my slide visible to you yes my sir. slide okay thank you uh according to the theory of constraint which was developed by experts uh every system has certain constraint you know this thing acha ye jo concept hai constraint ka ye aapke liye naya nahi hai we have mathematically analyzed the role of constraint can anybody out of you tell me 
where we have done it lpb yeah exactly exactly absolutely right you have seen that in linear programming problem we have handled the problem of constraint mathematically and you know this thing that if we want to find out any solution we have to consider constraint rather constraints are helpful in knowing the solution from there which is a hardcore mathematical problem to the uh, 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 the, uh, the highly practical problem which we are looking from uh, from our, our eyes the constraint is at its place constraint apni har jagah par hai ek wahan par tha jahan mathematical equation bana ke solve kar rahe the aur ek aaj yahan par hai jahan aap apni aankhon se dekh rahe hain ki constraint kya hai that actually set the significance of the theory of constraint so why i am uh, emphasizing too much so that you would not get confused that this is the theory and theory is all about philosophies no this, this is not a philosophy this is the practical approach which was suggested by the manager and theory of constraint says that the if you want to identify the constraint that is the bottleneck and you want to overcome with the problem of constraint you have to adopt a five step process agar aap constraint ko pehchanna chahte hain अगर आप अपने बॉटल नेक को आइडेंटिफाई करना चाहते हैं और उन्हें दूर करना चाहते हैं तो आपको फाइव स्टेप प्रोसेस फॉलो करना होगा यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई दाइव स्टेप प्रोसेस इन रिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ द नेचर ऑफ बिजनेस इज इट अ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज इट अ सर्विस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज इट अ फैक्ट्री ऑफ कार मैनुफैक्चरिंग और इज इट अ बैंक और अ हॉस्पिटल और एन आई कंपनी द थ्योरी ऑफ कंस्ट्रेंट इज दैट यू हैव टू फॉलो नंबर वन स्टेप आइडेंटिफाई दी कंस्ट्रेंट आई ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दिस पॉइंट विद यू and we will discuss this point later how to identify the constraint in a very simple and a layman's language you understand that constraints are the limitation and the identification of the constraint is that it has a specific amount of you know resources which are available and this is the place where the maximum expenditure of time effort money all are utilized all are happening so that is one way of identify the constraint so identify the constraint now once you identify the constraint definitely your job is that you have to come out with a strategy to solve the problem of constraint jab aap constraint pehchan lete ho so you have to come out with a plan how to overcome how to solve you have this uh, we already have uh, discussed with you that if there is a problem of demand and capacity we have different strategies so you have to prepare a plan as an operations manager that how to overcome the constraints right third you know management is all about not planning management is all about planning or effectively utilization of your resources management sirf ye nahi hota ki humne pen and page ke upar ek plan bana diya aur usse chhod diya our job is that we have to execute it and you know when you execute it proper focus on the resources are required now once you develop the focuses which are required what are the resources that are required aapko maine bataya tha ki kabhi kabhi hame ye karna padta hai ki hame part time employee hire karne kar padte hain kabhi kabhi hame ye karna padta hai ki hame temporarily rent par equipment lene padte hain kabhi kabhi hame ye karna padta hai ki make shift arrangement karna na padta hai rent pe building leni padti hai so either you are taking a building on rent or you are hiring an extra labor or you are taking resources on a particular contract these are some of the way of managing the resources for this that constraints are natural you cannot eliminate them ye baat yaad rakhiye ki wo to natural hai unhe eliminate nahi kiya ja sakta unhe minimize kiya ja sakta what you can do is that constraint cannot be eliminated like you have studied the principle of friction friction cannot be neutralized it cannot be zero it can only be minimized and at time friction is required for motion the same is true with constraint also that you cannot eliminate them at all what you can do is maximum that you can reduce you can minimize kya you can reduce or minimize the effect of constraint by offloading or expanding the capacity bhai aap constraint ko kam sirf ya to is tarah se kar sakte hain ki aap apna kaam kam kar dijiye jahan aap 75 यूनिट्स बना रहे थे वहां 50 यूनिट्स बनाइए या फिर आप अपनी कैपेसिटी को एक्सपेंड करिए मैं चार इक्विपमेंट यूज करता था अब मैं छह इक्विपमेंट यूज करूंगा 
मैं पहले पांच लेबर से काम ले रहा था अब मैं दस लेबर से काम करूंगा पहले मैं एक फैक्ट्री से काम कर रहा था मैं दो फैक्ट्री में से काम करूंगा तो आइदर यू एक्सपेंड और यू ऑफलोड यू रिड्यूस योर वॉल्यूम एंड वंस यू गो ओवरकम गो बैक दिस अ कंटिन्यूस प्रोसेस यू हैव टू गो बैक टू स्टेप वन अगेन सी स्टिल वी हैव दंस्टेंट और नॉट बिकॉज दिस इज एन आइटरेटिव प्रोसेस विच इज गोइंग ऑन मैं आपको एग्जाम्पल uh, सोच रहा था कि बिजनेस और मैंने बहुत सारी एग्जाम्पल सोच रही थी लेकिन अब मैं एकदम एक नई बात सोच रहा था आई गेव यू दी एग्जाम्पल आई इन दिस पावर पॉइंट प्रेजेंटेशन वी हैव दी एग्जाम्पल ऑफ टोस्टर मेकर आ सैंडविच मेकर एंड विज अबी टू दी डेंटिस्ट और फिर आप उसमें देखेंगे कि कैसे आप बॉटल नेक और कंस्टेंट को पहचान रहे हैं द ओनली क्राइटेरिया इज द टाइम and the effort तो वो पिक्चर मैं आपको दिखाता हूँ और फिर आ, मैं आपको एग्जाम्पल जो बहुत अभी हमारी बहुत प्रैक्टिकल एग्जाम्पल है वो मैं आपको बताऊंगा एग्जाम्पल से टोटल मैं अभी ये बात सोच रहा था कि इनको क्या एग्जाम्पल दी जाए और आ, हमारे पास तो एग्जाम्पल ये जो है ये तो है ही सैंडविच मेकर और टेटिस्ट की और बहुत सारे प्रोडक्ट के लेकिन मैं आपसे ये रिक्वेस्ट करना चाह रहा था कि आप पिछले दो साल से एक बहुत बड़े प्रोजेक्ट पे काम कर रहे थे जिसके आप बहुत ही एक इम्पोर्टेंट फेज से गुजर चुके मुझे लगता है जी सर और मैं समझता हूँ कि आपके जो एक्सपीरियंस रहे उस पूरे प्रोसेस के राइट फ्रॉम दी एप्लीकेशन टू दी प्रोजेक्ट गेटिंग दी ऑर्डर एंड दी एग्जीक्यूशन एंड दी फाइनलाइजेशन एंड दी कम्पलीशन फेज आपसे हम ये फीडबैक लेंगे लास्ट में कि एक पांच मिनट में आप बताइएगा कि आपके उस प्रोसेस में क्या कंस्टेंट और बॉटल नेक रहे कैसे आपने उनको आइडेंटिफाई किया और क्या स्ट्रेटजीज आपकी रही एक ब्रीफ आप आपने बताइएगा थोड़ा सा मैं कि आपने उनको कंस्टेंट को कैसे ओवरकम किया क्या आपने किया उसको ओवरकम करने के लिए क्योंकि आपका एक बड़ा ही लार्ज मैग्नीट्यूड का प्रोजेक्ट था एंड इट्स अ वेरी डाइवर्सिफाइड टाइप ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट तो देर इज नो डाउट दैट यू हैव you have come across with number of bottleneck and the constraint and definitely I, you have developed the strategy to overcome that so uh, you know, first i will tell them the practical uh, example of uh, the uh, the toaster maker sandwich maker and then the dentist and then i request you in the last that you give 5 minutes of your time and please brief us about uh, the your strategy sure sir sure sure sir okay. sure sir Uh, may I have attention, please, students? Uh, this is the analysis of the capacity of a of a visit of a patient to a dentist. I hope this this slide is visible to all of you. Yes. Okay. Uh, this is a very practical example, and intentionally this example has chosen. Reason is that on and off uh, we come across with this process, and if we if we have not, we have accommodated somebody to the dentist. आप समझ सकते हैं एक 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 डायग्राम बनाया गया है एक लेआउट बनाया गया है एक ब्लॉक डायग्राम आपके सामने है विच एक्सप्लेन्स दी डिफरेंट प्रोसेसेस विच आर गोइंग ऑन राइट फ्रॉम दी एंट्री टू ए डेंटिस्ट टिल दी एग्जिट सो दिस इज वन एग्जांपल, दिस इज एन एग्जांपल वेयर द प्रोसेस स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट वर्क स्टेशन इज दैट यू चेक इन चेक इन इज दैट यू रीच टू दी ट्राइज और द रिसेप्शन राइट सो यू रीच टू द रिसेप्शन and you inquire about the doctor or whatever it is who is the first encounter is that you reach to the reception then maybe after preliminary examination they will ask you to go for an x ray right then definitely x ray is not something that you get it instantly you have to some wait for the report they develop the x ray and then the dentist after looking into your x ray they go for uh, this processes right on the one these this can be a, a a you know a parallel process which is going on one is the x ray examination and side by side parallelly the the staff the technical staff is doing the job of cleaning and there is a particular time period which is going on now after cleaning and x ray investigation report you reach to the destiny then you are reached to the main person dentist and then the dentist prescribe the medicine or the solution or the process whatever it is and then you check out ab 
इस पूरे प्रोसेस में अगर So, uh, is my slide visible? Am I audible? Yes, now you yes, okay. Now yes, you see sir. the block diagram. You have seen uh, this is a layout of a dentist shop or a dentist clinic. The only parameter here is the time. So we are relying on the time to decide on the bottleneck and the uh, the the constraint. So we analyze. हमने एनालाइज किया उसको क्या एनालिसिस करी वी सिर्फ वी हैव ओनली अ टाइम कैलकुलेशन दिस इज द टाइम कैलकुलेशन सी द अब पोर्शन द सेम ब्लॉक डायग्राम एंड द टाइम कैलकुलेशन सो इफ यू सी द टाइम कैलकुलेशन दीज आर द टाइम कैलकुलेशन एंड व्हाट यू हैव नोटिस्ड इन द डायग्राम अगर आपने इस डायग्राम को देखा हो इससे पहले वाले में सो इफ आई आस्क अ सिंपल क्वेश्चन इन आउट ऑफ द फॉलोइंग प्रोसेस व्हिच प्रोसेस कंज्यूम्स द मैक्सिमम टाइम What do you say? Cleaning. Cleaning. Twenty-four minutes okay. in one patient. So this cleaning is the process which consumes the maximum time. This is the bottleneck of the system. Now naturally, bottleneck का मतलब ये तो नहीं है कि हम twenty-four से one minute कर देंगे उस काम को ये twenty-four से two minutes कर देंगे उस काम को हो सकता है ये काम ही ऐसा है which takes time. But is it so? Is it that is what we have to think of can we can we reduce the time of this cleaning now we have to think about it how can we do it how can we do it how can we reduce the process the, the time of this cleaning so any suggestion from your side ab zara soche aap kaise ho sakta hai anybody out of you can suggest hmm if suppose you are the manager in that Hospital. How do you reduce this time of cleaning? क्या हो सकता है? Sir, जब extra developer हो तब करवा लें। आह वो तो हो ही रहा है। वो तो extra examination develop हो रहा है। वो भी है। अच्छा ठीक है। मतलब आप ये कह रहे हैं कि parallel uh, processes को increase किया जाए। So when the extra is developed, then the same time. नहीं extra develop का तो ये है कि patient की availability होना जरूरी है। वो तो दो काम दो काम एक तरह एक साथ नहीं हो सकते ना कि इधर तो एक्सरे हो रहा है और इधर क्लीनिंग भी हो रही है दैट विल बी अ बिग प्रॉब्लम यू नो एक्सरे में तो आप जानते हैं जब एक्सरे हो रहा होता है तो क्या करते हैं हर चीज को हटा देते हैं आपको भी हटा देते हैं जो आपके साथ पेशेंट के साथ अटेंडेंट होता है उसको भी हटा देते हैं यू कैन नॉट डू दिस प्रोसेस टूगेदर और कुछ सोचिए क्लीनिंग यही डायग्राम रहे और क्लीनिंग कम हो का टाइम कम हो जाए एनी सजेशन इफ वी हैव मोर एफिशिएंट टूल्स राइट सर वी कैन राइट एफिशिएंट टूल सो सना What do you mean by how can you increase the efficiency of a tool? Yes, वो ही वो ही मैं आपसे मैं जानना चाह रहा था क्या हो सकता है? See, uh, yes, anybody out of you? Applying by applying the robotic tools. By uh, by implying or implementing the robotic tools, sir. All right, right. Like right. Uh, not, uh, not even not robotic. I would say. that the process which you are doing manually can you automate that process with some more sophisticated and machinized way to so, jo kaam aap haath se kar rahe the kya wo machine se ho sakta hai right yes, one sir. way the, second its strategy would be ye to 24 minute ka cleaning ka time hai ho sakta hai ye is wajah se zyada hai ki multiple patients are sitting and there is only one person who is doing the job of cleaning or two person who is doing the job of cleaning which is quite natural humne aksar ye dekha hai there is only one person so if you have a demand you may increase you may hire another cleaning person that may handle more number of patient and per unit time per patient time of cleaning will get reduced are you okay with this suggestion yes sir या कोई डेंटिस्ट के गया नहीं है क्या आज तक 
यस सर सर सबके दांतों में कभी कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं हुई क्या कॉलगेट से करते हैं क्या तुम लोग Yes, sir. It can be done because after cleaning, the doctor yeah. is supposed to give you tutorial about how to clean your teeth and how to take care of your oral hygiene. So, yeah. uh, they can hire a person to do that because it take it will reduce the time by five or six minutes at least. Because yeah. they give you a very brief tutorial about it. Exactly, exactly. So we can do that. Ah, ji, Usman. Yes, Usman. And sir, we can also give the options to the patient. I mean, not everyone require the deep cleaning. I mean, we can. give the option to the patient that uh, either you can go for the deep cleaning if there is something serious or otherwise you can you know uh, take the normal cleaning which will take less time right that could be one strategy that could be one you give options or uh, usman uh, option can be uh, uh, not in the form of simple cleaning or deep cleaning because that would depend upon the condition of the patient and the condition of the teeth option could be that you can go for manual cleaning which will take more time and you can go for machinized cleaning which will take less time machinized cleaning robotic cleaning will be more will be more costly will be more expensive whereas manual cleaning is slightly less expensive so ab now the patient has to yes. decide ki are you ready to to spend more amount of money you will go for robotic cleaning if you are not you want to save your cost then time is a constraint तो वही जो मैं आपको बता रहा हूं यू हैव टू डेवलप अ ट्रेड ऑफ टाइम ऑफ द कंस्ट्रेंट कैन नॉट बी मिनिमाइज्ड लेकिन यहां पर हम जो देख रहे हैं मैं देख रहे हैं वो नॉट फ्रॉम द पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ऑफ द पेशेंट वी आर लुकिंग फ्रॉम द पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ऑफ द ऑपरेशंस मैनेजर हम उस क्लिनिक के इंचार्ज हैं हमें तो अपने पेशेंट्स को किसी भी ना किसी तरीके से हैंडल करना है वी हैव टू हैंडल दिस कैपेसिटी हमें सोचना है हाउ कैन वी रिड्यूस दिस बॉटलनेक ऑफ कंज्यूमिंग 24 मिनट इन द क्लिनिक प्रोसेस और Uh, सिर्फ क्लिनिक प्रोसेस ही चलिए एक वो नहीं है और भी बहुत सारे ऐसे प्रोसेस हैं जैसे अभी इमरान जावेद बता रहे थे कि द डेंटिस्ट टेक टाइम इन एक्सप्लेनिंग यू द प्रिकॉशंस दैट यू नीड टू टेक आफ्टर द प्रोसेस मे बी देर वुड बी सम अदर वे ऑफ पासिंग ऑन दिस इंस्ट्रक्शन टू पेशेंट बिकॉज पासिंग ऑन ईच एंड एवरी इंस्ट्रक्शन टू देशेंट विल कंज्यूम मोर टाइम सो सी एवरी सिंगल मिनट इज इंपॉर्टेंट I will tell you my experience. Just three, four days back, I had been to an eye clinic along with my, one of my uh, relative. You know, uh, we took the appointment for the doctor, and we reached there at six thirty. But what it was a very chaotic situation. Reason is that the same. Only one person is uh, is is doing the job of initial verification and initial examination of the eye, and there is a long queue of the patient. doctor is very good so that is why patients are you know just you know there is a crowd so we also waited for there and it took two and a half hour to come out from that now okay i can do it once but second time when i visit i think twice that shall i visit the same doctor or shall i change my option because the waiting time and the bottleneck and the constraint which can be managed i might myself and but so this is what the knowledge that you are gaining from the class not all think in that direction a wo doctor unka staff nahi soch raha hai is bare mein unko to ye lag raha hai ki bhai hame to 50 patient roz dekhne hain hame isse matlab nahi hai ki patient wo to patient se keh raha hai jab koi patient unse poochne jata hai ki kab number aayega to wo to reception hota hai wo to direct jawab de deta hai ki baithe rahiye jab number aayega hum aapko khud bata denge to ab aisa patient ek baar to visit kar lega do baar to visit करेंगे कि आज के सिस्टम में हमारे क्या बॉटल नेक थे क्या कंस्ट्रेंट थे और उसको सॉल्व करने के लिए हमारे पास क्या प्लान था जो हम नेक्स्ट डे इंप्लीमेंट करेंगे एवरी डे यू हैव टू कम आउट विद दिस ब्लॉक डायग्राम एंड यू हैव टू यू हैव टू यू हैव टू डू इट
Yes. So uh, quickly, I would like to take up example. <laughs> this is another uh, a sandwich manufacturing production of the sandwiches. Order is received. This is the time for order. Then the bread and the filling take place. And this process is going on parallelly for, for multiple sandwiches and the wrap and the delivery. This is the, the diagram, wrap and the delivery. And what you can witness out of this diagram in this block diagram, that the maximum time consumes in which, in which process? Wrap and deliver. Uh, wrapping and delivery. Yes, wrapping and delivery. So how do we, we identify the, the bottleneck? We identify the constraint. So now, if you are the manager, if you are the operation manager, capacity manager, you have to think about that how to overcome with this problem of constraint and bottleneck. Wrapping is an issue. So, johan aap manual wrapping kar rahe can we have an automated machine? Can we have an automated machine of wrapping? And based on that, we can do it. So, uh, this is one. Again, you analyze the capacity analysis take place. The only variable is time. This is the uh, analysis, capacity analysis that has been performed and this has been utilized. This has been observed that the maximum time is taken by wrap and delivery 37.5 and overall time, the overall time that is time taken from the receipt of order till the delivery is 122.5 seconds. This is the total time when the order is received the sandwich and delivery. Ka. So 122.5 second time. So up ye time, can we reduce this time? Can we reduce this time? That's an issue. Aapne dekha hoga, aksar ye hota hai. Uh, I don't know how many of you have visited. Uh, uh, I mean, most of you have. I would say that uh, a restaurant. So when you when you plan uh, you know, when you plan your uh, you know your visit, you always think of waiting time. Sir, you have seen order place. Now, do you understand how much time will order place? Hoga? Uh, order hoga? Just one minute. So uh, this is the the very simple example that we have in our mind right now. I was telling you that you have seen that we have order place and then we are waiting. Now, what is going on behind the scene? What is going on in their process of of producing the the, the desired order? It's something which is beyond our you know reach. But you have seen uh, the operations manager there. He is. He or she is actively engaged in identifying the bottleneck and analyzing them. Sunny, you have a visit to Delhi. You have a visit to Delhi. You have a visit to visit Delhi. You have a visit to McDonald's. You have a peak time. You have a lunch time. You have a visit to Delhi. You can see the effectiveness of the Kippens management. Right? Every time they are developing their, their chart. And they are just identifying the bottleneck. Where is the delay? Where can we reduce it? Where can we short the process? Ko short kar sakte? So the peak time, like lunch time or a dinner time, you'll see the, the demand as a peak. And then that's a the time that they identify the constraint and they identify the bottleneck and they develop the strategy to overcome that. So everywhere you will see the bottlenecks and the constraint and you have to overcome with that. With these two examples, I just wanted to make you understand that capacity is an important issue, right? 
we have to plan the capacity in a in effective way there are obstacles like that we cannot eliminate we can minimize if you do so that means you are effectively managing your your uh, you know capacity अब आपका कोई क्वेश्चन कोई क्वेरी या कुछ ऐड करना चाहते हैं इस डिस्कशन में कोई एग्जांपल आपके माइंड में है जी बोलिए यस सर एज यू आर आर दैट वी ओनली मैनेजिंग टाइम टाइम इज 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 इट टेकिंग मोस्ट मोस्ट अमाउंट अमाउंट ऑफ बट Rizwan, I have already discussed this point with you that bottleneck, although is the one which consumes the maximum time, so that our attention is focused on bottleneck. But in some cases, it is happening that bottleneck time cannot be reduced. It's natural. Now, a doctor is. Imagine a doctor is. You have seen that the more he is, the more he takes. Now, one patient takes twenty minutes. There is a doctor in Aligarh. He is a very senior doctor. लेकिन उनके पास लोग जाते हैं इसलिए परेशान होते हैं कि वो एक पेशेंट को 20 मिनट देते हैं तो अब उनसे तो ये नहीं कहा जा सकता कि सर आप 20 मिनट नहीं देंगे आप 5 मिनट देंगे वो मना कर देंगे मैं तो नहीं दे पाऊंगा मेरा तो एक स्टाइल है दिस इज हार्ड ओन स्टाइल ओवर के ही कंज्यूम्स ही स्पेंड ट्वेंटी मिनट इन वन पेशेंट तो दैट बॉटल नैक वी नो द बॉटल नैक बट वी कैन नॉट ओवरकम तो फिर हमें यह सोचना है कि इसको तो रिड्यूस नहीं कर सकते तो क्या हम ये टाइम कहीं और सेव कर सकते हैं क्या हम रिसेप्शन पे क्या हम एग्जामिनेशन में क्या हम रिपोर्ट जनरेशन में कुछ फर्दर पैरल प्रोसेस डेवलप कर सकते हैं सो दैट द टाइम विच वी आर कंज्यूमिंग एक्स्ट्रा इन द बॉटल नेक कैन बी कंपनसेटेड इन अदर प्रोसेस तो ये जरूरी नहीं होता है कि हर बार बॉटल नेक ही रिजोल्व हो जाए पैरल एक्टिविटीज एडजस्टेंट एक्टिविटीज को भी किया मैनेज किया जा सकता है ठीक है आई होप यू गेट द पॉइंट Is what? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank. So, any any more question, please? Any more clarification? Feel free to discuss. जैसे बहुत अच्छा क्वेश्चन उन्होंने पूछा बॉटल नेक का क्या क्या हर बार ये जरूरी है हम बॉटल नेक मैनेज कर पाएं कभी कभी हम नहीं भी कर पाएंगे तो फिर can we leave the system as it is or we can try our luck we go and we think of Uh, managing the other activities and the process and the work station, other work stations. हाँ भाई, डॉक्टर लामे साहब, आप कुछ इसमें शेयर करेंगे? अपना एक्सपीरियंस? आह सर, आज गाड़ी। हाँ हाँ, मैं तो यही चाहता था कि भाई थोड़ा सा <laughs> आपके फ्लोचार्ट में आपने इस तरह के बहुत फ्लोचार्ट रोज़ बनाए, तो ना। <laughs> क्या बॉटल है क्या कैसे तो कैसे मतलब कुछ कोई ऐसी एग्जांपल जो जनरल वे में आप डिस्कस करना चाहते हो हां मैं तो थोड़ा सा पॉइंट वाज बिकॉज़ द प्रोजेक्ट वाज क्वाइट बिग एंड वी हैव अ डेफिनेटली अ लॉट ऑफ कंसर्न्स लेकिन मैं दो तीन इंपॉर्टेंट कंसर्न्स पे जरा फोकस करना चाहूंगा बिकॉज़ बॉटल नेक्स आर ऑलवेज बेटर दैट टू रिमूव बॉटल नेक्स सो लेट मी गिव देम अ ब्रीफ अबाउट द प्रोजेक्ट एक्चुअली द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया थ्रू डिफरेंट स्कीम्स आर्टिजंस जो होते हैं हैंडीक्राफ्ट के अंदर ना घर में शो पीसेस लगे होते हैं समथिंग लाइक दैट सो गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया विद हेल्प ऑफ वेरियस स्कीम्स उन्हें वो टेक्निकल ट्रेनिंग प्रोवाइड करते हैं सो दैट दे कैन डू द एक्टिविटीज इन अ मच बेटर वे मोर टेक्निकली साउंड यूजिंग टूल्स एंड मोर मोर स्पेशलाइज्ड टू एक्सेट्रा तो उसके सिलसिले में गवर्नमेंट इज वी हैव टेकन टू प्रोजेक्ट्स वन इज फॉर हैंडीक्राफ्ट टेक्निकल ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम टू प्रोवाइड ट्रेनिंग टेक्निकल ट्रेनिंग टू ऑलरेडी existing handicraft artisans or dusra was uh, uh, training for especially the applied craft workers of aligarh district were contacted so that uh, they their uh, skills should be enhanced and they they should be able to uh, you know have more good livelihood apni zindagi achhi guzare and all that so uh, the uh, when we are applying aisha ma'am uh, professor aisha farooq ma'am and i was there in the team so when we applied for this project although the project seems very easy at the first instance that all the all, all the parameters were set government has given very clear and uh, good 
good guideline on the project the whole infrastructure seems very good means everybody is there to help right from the director level to the subordinate level so we be, we believed that the project might go smooth no problem at all and we applied for the project so <clears throat> we received uh, for the first project we received grant for six districts where rampur muradabad aligarh uh, hatras mathra and bulandshahar and uh, we also got uh, one specialized project for prepli craft study so when we received the project and we contacted our uh, register office you all know register office at aligarh muslim university the first bottleneck that we faced was i i would say that's a constraint or uh, uh, was that this was the very first type of project such type of projects was never taken by aligarh muslim university earlier so because of that nobody knew what needs to be done although the guidelines of the government was clear but the guidelines of the government was clear for the artisans how to implement uh, it was not clear regarding the situation that who was taking up the project so that was the first problem that we faced because earlier the projects taken by the university was a research projects and field work this was completely different type of project so we uh, really uh, you know that was a very challenging task to, to make them understand to come out with some ideas so that uh, uh, you know the guidelines of the ministry as well as the guidelines of aligarh muslim university should be you know should match and there is no problem between the two uh, the ministry of textiles and aligarh muslim university so that was the first bottleneck and somehow we the through months and months of deliberations asif sir was also there with me for all the guidance and support at that time also uh, so the financial department was in a, in a in a confusion that we don't have such type of projects earlier so we don't know how to spend the grant the payment was done by the by the ministry to the university the university didn't know how to uh, deal such type of project that was a major constraint that we had in the project at the earlier stage anyways through their deliberations and to somehow we have discussed and we find some way out so in that case four months went by without without any technical program the so ministry asked us that we have given you money for four months before and you have not done anything yet so that was the first challenge that we somehow uh, you know ask them uh, you know find a way out dusra constant aaya covid 19 somehow we started our batches at uh, muradabad uh, rampur and aligarh the batches was running from uh, 3rd of march or 14 march ko ekdam se ek uh, uh, government of india ka notification aata hai such training programs or any classes should be stopped because of covid 19 surge so at that moment nobody knew what needs to be done even the artisans who are you know at the very lowest strata income strata of the society uh, they were uh, already their lost jobs were lost so it was a, it was a lot of challenge for us to make them understand that we can't do anything anyway so the uh, the project was halted for 6 months in september the government again issued the guidelines now the already existing artisans who were there in march with us march 2020 most of them you you know they went out for, for, to find jobs in different metropolitan cities and the artisans were not available in that area so we again have to go the same exercise of getting the artisans and you know registering them for this program and in one batch earlier we had 20 20 artisans 20 workers in one batch and we need to run two batches in a location तो रामपुर के लिए हमें 40 लोग चाहिए थे और 2020 के दो बैचेस जो मार्च में अवेलेबल थे लेकिन सितंबर आने के बाद अक्टूबर के अंदर वो लोग 12 रह गए 40 से 12 पहुंच गए तो वी अगेन ट्वेंटी जो वहां मिल सके हमें आर्टिजन मिल गए लेकिन अब प्रॉब्लम दूसरी आई प्रॉब्लम ये आई कि अर्लियर इट वॉज दैट वी है हॉल in which we have created a space for 40 artisans because hum jante the there was no problem they sitting side by side lekin covid 19 guidelines ke hisab se you need to maintain a distance of 6 feet so what happened another another bottleneck came to us that the hall capacity is suitable for as per the guidelines of the covid 19 and the government guidelines the hall is only 
uh, good enough for 20 people so we again contact the localities we go to other you know uh, other halls uh, other locations and then we booked uh, another hall and that that was again a, a lot of bottleneck because those artisans who were present at one place they are not ready to move to other place for the training so again it was a, so these are the challenges that we faced a lot and after that you know uh, when you are trying to uh, जब दो सिचुएशंस की गाइडलाइंस को फुलफिल करना चाहते हैं तो सबसे बड़ा चैलेंज यही आता है कि बिकॉज़ दोनों ही गाइडलाइंस थोड़ी अलग होती हैं व्हेन समबडी इज एक्चुअली पेइंग यू टू डू अ जॉब फॉर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ टेक्सटाइल्स इज पेइंग अस दैट ओवरऑल प्रोजेक्ट वाज अराउंड 1.43 करोड़ सो व्हेन द मिनिस्ट्री इज पेइंग दिस मच अमाउंट ऑफ मनी तो दे वांट रिजल्ट्स ऑन टाइम सो वी हैव बट वी हैव वी वी हैव फेस्ड अ लॉट ऑफ चैलेंज बट समहाउ अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह last grace everything went well and now we are in the process of submitting the first phase of the project successfully so that uh, is a very brief will that have discussed and hey, that's a real you know a good snapshot of the entire you know, process i hope that although it's a very you know a, a, a big project is difficult for the student to you know visualize and think about the, the problem but still uh, dr lame has briefed us about the various constraints in the bottleneck that he and his team has faced so thank you very much dr lalu uh, thank you thank you I, i hope you understand you are lucky that uh, we have a live example <laughs> of a big project of the magnitude of 1.5 crore uh, which is recently handled by our department under the guidance of dr lalu and dr rashad so that's good so dear students this is all about uh, for today's class Uh, get ready we have more examples on capacity and other things other aspects of the uh, of the of unit number 3 right so that's it from my side i think uh, you are all requested to type in your attendance now type and type in your attendance asif sir if you wish to leave uh, हाँ मैं बोल रहा था आई आई डोंट नोटिफिकेशन फ्रॉम द डिपार्टमेंट रिगार्डिंग सेशनल टेस्ट और एनी नॉट राइट नो सर नो सर नॉट राइट नो थैंक यू सर फॉर द फॉर टाइम थैंक यू वेरी मच दोज हु विश टू लीव द मीटिंग आफ्टर द अटेंडेंस इज द मोस्ट वेलकम टू डू